So hello and I welcome you to today's Trading Spotlight webinar uh, here together with Atmar Markets today on Friday, the 6th of uh, December 2019. Yeah, we want to uh, look into a very, very interesting topic again today. So uh, the headline I think here um, um, says, says a lot already. But one question in this regard. Can everyone see my screen? One second, let me just try it again. So can someone please confirm that you can see that you can see the screen right now because something is something seems to go wrong here. Huh. That's interesting. Shouldn't I usually let me just try this one? So one second. Yes, you can see the, the screen. Okay, perfect. And everything's fine. Um, for whatever reason, I I uh, I'm a little surprised because um, um I have a black black screen here at my end. But if you can see now how to incorporate the Renko indicator into your trading, then everything is fine. And uh, yeah, we can we can uh, move on and um, have a look here at um, uh, this, in fact, very, very interesting topic. Some of you probably have already a chart on right now and see some, some, some heavier swings, uh, um, which has something to do um, with the fact that non-farm payrolls were just released and came in significantly better than expected. Um, but this is not the topic of today. So today we want to have a look here at the so-called Renko indicator um, and very, a very, very interesting uh, concept, in fact. And some of you probably have heard about Haikin Ashi. Um, Haikin Ashi is uh, is uh, um, 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 a charting um, or is a, is a is a way to to display charts, which is um, used from uh, Marcus. So also uh, a host here. When it comes to our trading spotlight series, you may have um, also listened to some of his webinars, respectively have read some of his um, um, analysis and trade ideas in our trading spotlight community. So. Renko is very similar to Heike Nashi. In fact, um, today we want to dig deeper into this topic. So let's have a look at today's agenda. Um, first of all, we want to answer the question, what is the Renko indicator? Then what are the benefits of using Renko charts? How can it be incorporated into traders' strategies and, and improve trading decisions? And we also want to give a look here at examples of how to use the indicator. And um, so this is the next slide. Some of you um, are probably not here for the first time, but probably have listened to me several times now. Um, and so you know that I'm not um, a big, big um, a friend of, of talking now about myself. Um, what I'd like to do here is to talk about um, the, the broker who makes all this possible here. Um, the only probably interesting thing is uh, that I'm located in Berlin in Germany. And Admiral Markets, the broker behind the Trading Spotlight uh, webinar series here, has um, offices in more than 20 countries around the globe. And one is here in Berlin, in Germany, the German office. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, this this is um, very, very um, uh, good for me as uh, someone trading with Admiral Markets to, to have a direct um, contact here 20 minutes um, from, my, from my home. Um, it's not a must if you're looking for a broker, sure, but uh, it's definitely something uh, which which makes a broker um, worth to give it a deeper look um, because um, here it comes to service and here it comes also to uh, a broker um, respectively representatives from the broker speaking your, your 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 language and if you have questions around um, your account around uh, your trading in general whatever um, it's probably always good to have someone um, who's speaking your language um, and find someone and at Atmal as a global player in this um, sea of DNA fixed industry, um, you have a very good chance to reach out to someone who's speaking your language. So um, in addition to that, uh, we have um, with Anmar Markets a highly regulated broker licensed here by the FCA, by the EFSA, by the SISEC, by the ASIC. Um, ASIC is, by the way, the Australian uh, regulatory body. Um, and uh, this is also something worth mentioning. And when it comes to um, um, Germany, and, and then my location here, it's also something which is probably noteworthy. Um, 
Admiral is offering competitive spreads, very competitive spreads, I have to say. And here in Germany, we usually refer among uh, traders uh, to Admiral Markets as the so-called DAX expert, a very, um, um, yeah, a very competitive offering. In fact, probably the most competitive out there. I've, I haven't um, heard about a broker who's offering um, better conditions on, on trading the DAX. This is also true when it comes to order execution. Um, uh, and yeah, so in this regard, definitely worth a look, but it's also true for um, FX. Also something you probably have um, um, seen over the last days, uh, there was the um, 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 uh, um, German head, German head, beziehungsweise, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> respectively, <laughs> respectively um, uh, the, the German um, branch officer and um, also co-CEO, uh, Jens Scharnowski is his name. Um, he posted something on the spread via LinkedIn. And, and uh, you may have seen, it's not only true, um, that you get what you see in case of the DAX, but also when it comes to your USD. So um, especially the Admiral Prime offering is some um, highly competitive feature. So in this regard, definitely worth a look. And um, so let's, oh, uh, that's not so cool. Uh, let's have a look now at uh, at those bullet points. I hoped, in fact, that that now they would appear um, a step by step. But okay, this is not a big issue. So. Um, we want to go through all these bullet points right here. Answer the question, what is the Renko indicator? Let me just see um, if I have any questions open here. No, it's not the case. Okay, so um, yeah, let's answer the question. What is the Renko indicator? I already gave an idea. Um, uh, to some extent, some of you probably have heard about Heike Nashi before. And what we know about Heike Nashi, for example, there was also a webinar, if I'm not mistaken, from Marcus on this topic here um, um, within this, this trading spotlight series. It's an indicator you can uh, um, you can you can use, especially when you're a trend trader. It's probably of of high um, um, interest for those um, um, who are trend followers. In fact, and uh, it has the idea. Heikinashi in this case has the idea to filter out some noise, and this is the same, which is true for Renko. Um, and uh, a Renko chart in this case is a type of chart that is built using price movement rather than both price and standard standard standardized diced, sorry time intervals so that sounds um a little difficult right now but in fact it's not very very uh, difficult um we are when looking at Renko charts, we look at, in fact, we look at so-called Renko blocks, and um, they only display a price change that meet a certain minimum magnitude. Otherwise, they're ignored, respectively not displayed. So if you see a candle, um, a Renko candle, it has to make a certain move, let's say, for example, 10 pips, and then there will be um, um, a next candle displayed. If this is not given, then the um, uh, um, uh, the next candle is filtered out, in fact, and it waits till these moves happen of, in this case, 10 pips, for example. Um, that sounds a little uh, difficult at the beginning, respectively, um, a little weird for those looking usually at a standardized um, 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 chart and standard standard candles in this case, um, where you have um, an appearance of a candle um, um, resulting out of a time interval in this case, and after a certain period is, is um, uh, fulfilled. But um, in case of Renko, the time is in fact filtered out and it waits till a certain criteria, in this case, a certain um, um, minimum width of the candle is, um, um, is given, in fact. And the advantage becomes very quickly clear here, um, it means that small price moves are filtered out and the focus stays, in fact, on significant moves. So you're not taking action before you see a significant move, in fact. And um, so to give an idea, I prepared the following chart. It's a little different um, because the thing is that here I've overlaid the um, uh, candle chart, as you can see it here. I've overlaid it with um, uh, the Renko indicator. Let me just um, give you an idea. One second, please. I'll do the following. Um, I already have the website open here. Let me just give you the link in the chat box. So um, let's call it Admiral Supreme Edition. So what do I mean by that? Supreme Edition, that's an add-on you can download. It's completely free for your uh, MetaTrader, MT4, MT5. 
Um, it's the so-called MetaTrader Supreme Edition. You can um, just use the link, or if you go um, to this website via, or you want to find it via the website, you go to atmarmarkets.com, then you go to platforms, and there you can just go a little lower here, MetaTrader Supreme Edition. Um, I'm not sure, to be honest, um, what it um, um, is in, in regards to Mac. I'm, to some extent, sure that there's a solution found already. Here, yeah, scroll down um, um, uh, at, this, at this page. Let me just see, it's the iPhone app. Does it work? MT4 for the for the iPhone. So I have no iPhone. I'm sorry. So I, I can't say um, um, whether whether this works or not. But um, I think there is definitely a way to use um, the MT4 here from Admiral via via the um, via the uh, Mac, respectively iPhone and whatever. So. Um, Let's come back here. So what we have here is um, a chance now to download the Supreme Edition. And beside that, you probably remember, you probably recall well, one webinar we had on my uh, favorite tools here within the Supreme Edition. And uh, we mainly focused here on let me see here. There we have it on the minute terminal, which um, gives the whole MT4, MT5 experience a whole new le level here because um, these add-ons here you can use, um, um, they display uh, or they, they overcome certain issues, let's say, you probably might have when it comes to trading within the MT4, MT5 environment. So it's kind of old, let's say, and uh, you, can, you can really, um, um, uh, yeah, bring your trading to a next level, let's say. Um, your discretionary trader, especially when using the Supreme add-on here and the mini terminal. And it's not only that you can download these so-called expert advisors. So um, when using the mini terminal, for example, you, we are talking about an expert advisor, but there's also indicators included. And within this Supreme uh, edition here, you find um, the so-called Renko indicator. So you can, you can see it already here. Is it the Renko? I'm not really sure to be honest, but uh, there you can see the indicator package, and at the end there's the Renko chart. And from this, so it, you won't get this when I when I just showed to you. Let me just switch back here. You won't get this here as a standard uh, within your MT4, MT5 platform. That's something I, I can assure you. But once you download it, the Supreme Edition here, um, you can display this by using the Renko uh, um, indication, respect of the Renko chart, in fact. So there's two ways to display it. I use this way, but you can also have a pure Renko chart without the candles here, um, 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 here for illustration purposes, it's probably better to use exactly that. And um, so, yeah, what, what, what can you see is, in fact, um, to be honest, I, I don't really remember what was the uh, Remco indication I used here. Was it, was it 50 cents? I, I'm not sure. So to, to be honest, when I, when I did the chart, I don't know which, which indication or which block size I used. Um, but let's assume it's, it's uh, 10 cents, okay? Let's say it's 10 cents. Um, so what you can see here is that obviously this block, this Renko block, um, the candles which are covered here are not um, extending a width from the open to the closing price of 10 cents. But um, as long as we stay within this 10 cent um, range, um, it doesn't matter how long it takes, but we have only one block or respectively one Renko block, one candle, if you want to use the candle um, 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 term here in this regard. And um, once we then see a move which extends this uh, block size, in this case, these 10 cents, you can see that the next candle is, is, um, uh, is, is, uh, is, is uh, written, respectively displayed here in this regard. And this continues, in fact. So, which means nothing more. I will present to you an idea of how to, how to um, 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 formulate a trading idea based on that. But um, usually you want to avoid to position yourself here within this frame uh, because the, the fact that we are not exceeding um, a 10 pip range in this case, or 20, whatever, 20 cent, 20 pip. This is in this case, we're looking at silver here. So we're not looking at EURUSD or GBPUSD. I'll, I'll use this later, but um, as long as we do not extend the uh, um, 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 10 cent, 20 cent move here in this case, or respectively width of the candle closing, um, um, opening price to closing price, well, we don't generate a signal, but we stay calm, in fact, and wait till the 
let's call it major breakout occurs then in fact so yeah and this is how you can uh, how you can understand the chart is uh, on the downside and red obviously and then here you can um, I've displayed it in, in in blue then um, you you can also you can also um, display rising rising candles in fact and this is this is how you can um, imagine Renko um, now I have another um, example so this is with candles and um, obviously with with the MT5 in fact I'm using here so this is how you could also display Renko a Renko chart and here we have the MT4 and in this regard we're looking at Euro USD and I think we're looking and an M5, so it's a five-minute chart. It's a quite, um, oh no, it's a one-minute chart. I'm sorry, M1 is it. Um, and uh, yeah, what, what do we see here? It's in fact the same thing, only that we are only displayed Renko. So therefore you have to put in a little work, something we don't want to dig deeper into today, but um, there is um, um, a very nice article you can find on Admiral Markets. Um, so you can Google, in fact, Admiral Markets and Renko chart, and then you will um, be guided to an article which um, explains step by step how to um, show Renko charts that way here, in fact. So with filtering um, the, the um, candles in the background out. And um, so, yeah, what, what do we have here? So it's, uh, in fact, the f same thing, only that uh, the, the white candles going lower um, mean that, in this case, let me, let me just guess, it's one pip or something? Probably. Yeah, most likely it's one pip. So if, if the market exceeds um, uh, from open to close a one pip range in this case, um, and we're going lower, then we have the Renko's going down. And the same is true for the upside. So here, the black candles, respectively, with the um, um, green border in this case, we have to move higher, in fact. And uh, so what we can say based on that chart is, for example, that the downtrend stays active as long as we don't see um, a counter signal being generated in this case. So we could consider the trend to at least lose some of its momentum, probably start to um, um, turn once uh, here within the series of, 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 in this case, white candles, um, such a black candle appears because the black candle is an up candle while the white ones are down candles. So which means that the trend is at least um, losing some of its some of its momentum, probably turning as it's shown here. Then in this case, so we switched from short or from downtrend to an uptrend. In fact, and as you can see, um, the noise around with the candles is filtered out. So you can't really see any more candles than those exceeding our um, block size. We we had to we had to to uh, define earlier when using the indicator. So let me just once again click here. So I have a I have a little problem. That's why I have to to click now here um, uh, because this black um, uh, display I, I have here um, in my in my um, other chart uh, or in the chart window in my other um, um, window here um, makes it not possible for me to go through my my presentation and see the um, uh, see the see the question. So, but nevertheless, uh, that's, that's a problem at my at my side. So please feel free to um, um, ask all your questions you might have here, and um, so. Now we already pointed some of them out, but but let's let's um, um, point these two um, um, aspects here out once again. So the question was already answered. What are the benefits of using Renko's? Well, Renko charts are designed to filter out minor price movements to make it easier for traders to focus on important trends. Um, so very, very similar to what you probably have already learned in regards to the so-called Haikinashi chart. And Renko charts are effective in identifying support and resistance, um, and uh, which means nothing more than trends can be written for a long time before even one brick in the opposite direction forms, in fact. So I have a very, very dramatic um, example here, which answers already the question, how can Renko's be applied to trading? I had to, in fact, I, I had to, to use another chart um, uh, because it was, it was difficult to, or no, it, it took very, very long, in fact, to, um, uh, to, to find this application here um, um, for in this case we are looking at Apple and we are looking here at the one week chart um, so I used one I found on Investopedia and here what you see is uh, trading view you probably have heard about this external platform once you wonder what is this here and um, so yeah what, what can you see it's in fact um, very simple in a green respectively the Renko application or the Renko block here um, has a two dollar box size so um, 
it moves higher respectively if it moves lower once we see an open and close here on a weekly basis of more than, than two dollars in fact and um, so what you can obviously see here um, with these two dollar blocks forming and this green line which um, appeared here from uh, in this case let me just keep it a deeper look so it's april yes it's april or it's at the beginning probably second week of april and uh then we saw a very strong trend um is it is it april in fact yeah obviously whatever so at least you see a very strong trend here um and uh, then there is a small pullback two dollar um and, and and higher pullback in fact um and then we take on momentum again so what we can see is that we have a strong uptrend and we use this um, um short reversal or short corrective move we can call it um to wait until we then see a break of the former highs here to enter the trend and uh, you can see there's a strong option and there's a buying opportunity after short-term pullback here in this regard um, i mean it's an it's an uh, example which perfectly fits our argumentation sure so it's uh, it's not that easy but you can uh, really well remember uh, imagine not remember but imagine um, how how strong this um, will work during trending market conditions. That's the same is true, for example, for for moving crossover systems. But there you can see there's sometimes conditions where um, using um, 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 such uh, crossover systems to exponential moving averages, for example, whatever, where um, once the signal is generated, the strong trend occurs, and then you can ride a trend very, very long. But there's also times during which this um, approach just works horribly bad, just because of the fact that once the market finds itself in the um, range-bound environment, for example, you usually do not um, um, see this um, crossover, moving crossover system work quite well. The same is so also true here, obviously. So um, once the market goes range bound, you can see there's probably a sequence of, of, of those two blocks um, or two dollar box size moves here. Um, nevertheless, once the market um, um, retra um, um, retraces respectively, then finds itself in a range bound mode, you usually do not um, have strong signals here giving you a chance to profit from any trend. But once it trends, then it can play out all its um, um, strength here, in fact. And and uh, yeah, this is something which you which you can then face here after the market moved strongly in direction of the um, identified trend here. The market here showed some some weakness at the at the um, um, at the top, and there was one two two dollar boxes which um, then meant nothing more than uh, there's potentially now a selling opportunity where the trend might probably shift here in fact and um, so this is exactly the moment once once we decided to sell our position um, respectively probably we decided to sell it here so some of you probably uh, go for a so-called price action approach and saying okay we have a ret retracement here and then the market moves again in direction of the uh, trend before probably it's it is capable of, of exceeding the former highs here in this case um, but once we are breaking below that level again then we um, um, we are out of the trade in this case of the long trade we entered here <clears throat> And this is what happened then shortly after, as you can see here in this region. And then the market turned around and um, it developed a very, very strong downtrend. And in fact, so moved strongly lower. The only problem you have here is to enter the trade because you don't really know when to enter, in fact. So um, we have to wait till here such a pullback um, um, happens. And so, till then, um, it's, it's, it's not a very good idea to, to, to enter the trade. Uh, or to enter the trend because um, such a pullback, the longer it, it, it takes for the market to, to pull back, in fact, the um, less attractive the risk reward is, is getting here in this case. So then we have here the strong downtrend obviously you can you can identify it um, and then you can see that there's a shorting opportunity after a short-term pullback here so with the market making new lows and then starting here to form a bottom again um, but nevertheless for you giving you an opportunity to exit the market somewhere here within this region in fact and um, so yeah this is this is how you can easily apply Renko a string um, a, a trend um, um, a trend following tool let's call it how, how you can apply it to your to your trading in fact 
And um, so now I, I mentioned this already at the beginning. Um, what, what I'd like to do is I want to, to give you um, a real life example, then, in fact, in uh, GBPUSD here, in fact, on an hourly chart um, where, where we will use the so called Admiral Ranko indicator and the MT5 Supreme Edition. So, what I did was, in fact, I used my Admiral Markets MT5 and downloaded the Supreme Edition, respectively, open. I have downloaded it already. So, I opened the um, uh, Renko, Admiral Renko, it's called here, indicator in this, um, in this MT5 then. And what I did was I, I gave in the, the following parameters, the Renko block size and pips 10. So I said, I want to um, have a Renko block of minimum 10 pips, opening to closing price. Then we use a GBPUSD H1 chart. So we're looking at the hourly chart. And then we use as a trend filter, the exponential moving average 40 in this case. So um, there's no real reason to that. I did just want to to show you how to um, how to to uh, work with this with this application to give you a better idea of how to use Renko's in your in your trading. One second, please. I just saw here a question. No, again. Um, so um, on uh, um, uh, here, uh, John. Um, asks, is this ranker indicator available on MT4 um, at my markets platform? No, it's not available um, in the standard version, which means that if you, if, you open, if you open an account here with Admiral Markets and download the MT4, it's not um, included. But on the website, you can here via platforms and MT, MT Supreme Edition, you can download the MetaTrader Supreme Edition and there in the indicators box, you can find Admiral Renko and there you can then display Renko charts as I do here um, in the next chart, in the hourly chart in this case. So um, you have to, to, to uh, um, uh, do one extra step in this case. So download the Admiral Supreme Edition. But once you have it, then you can use it via the um, 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 indicators window. So it's an Admiral Renko in this case. And then you can display it here. And again, for MT4, um, uh, if you're interested to, let me just go back here. If you want to have it that way, respectively here, as I'm displayed here, if you only want to have the Renko um, 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 uh, bricks or blocks here um, in your chart and not here, the, the candles, um, you can find an article on uh, admiralmarkets.com on how to develop that. So it's um, um, quite, it takes some time in fact. So you have to make some, some extra steps in this regard. So this is something I didn't want to, or we do not in fact have the time to do that here. But if you, if you want to, to, to have it um, displayed the way I just showed it, um, then you, you can go via the blog article on the website. I can, by the way, um, um, share it also um, um, below the video here. Uh, if you watch this on, on YouTube then. And um, yeah, so let's have uh, a look here at the Renko trading example then on the GBP USD, 10 pip um, um, block size, one hour chart, and in pink here, you can see the EMA 40 in this case. So what we do is in fact that we say um, within such a trend, um, obviously we're trading above the EMA 40. So if we trade above, um, the indicator, we can say we're, we find ourselves in a, in a long trend. It's a very simple approach, but still an effective one. And um, so if we then see um, a close um, above the EMA 40 and see a candle, which is bigger than 10 pips here from open to closing price, then we have a buy signal. So what we do here, in fact, is we buy the H1 candle on the close if we trade above the EMA 40 once we um, here see a break out of this range here where the market obviously over quite a while didn't um, see a close which was bigger than 10 pips. Um, from, from, from the opening price, in fact. But here the signal was generated and it's a very simple example, but what I tend to do is I, I want to give you real life examples which are not 
optimal um, um, based on or which which are not I have I don't have to to search for that but I I look at a chart and then I try to to find um, um, an example which is not that far in the past in fact and give you this example I think this makes the most sense so that you can um, already um, feel it in the current under current market conditions um, under under um, active um, actual market conditions in fact and um, so yeah what you can see is here that the market then starts to um, move in direction of the identified trade and you can see it here exit the trade with the first h1 candle closing 10 pips or more below the prior Renko low in this case and uh, this is exactly what was happening here in fact and um, alternatively so if you say this is not an um, exit rule I'd like to follow alternatively you could also say exit the trade with the first H1 candle closing 10 pips or more below the prior Renko low and below the EMA which means that you um, have another filter to trade a bigger trend in or to, to, to catch a, a bigger a bigger move um, um, in fact and um, so what's also interesting is as you can see here those those um, uh, dotted lines um, what do they mean they they show you uh, where the market has to close to generate a blue respectively a red um, um, Renko box or a Renko bar in fact so um, Within the Renko indicator, you can use in your um, 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 MetaTrader, you can um, sh display then those dotted lines which show you where the market has to move or where it has to close above respectively below to create such a Renko candle. Um, and till that happens, in fact, you won't see any um, yeah any any new block occurring then within your uh, within your chart here respectively within the window, and um, so yeah that's that's it. In fact, on m most of, of of what I have to say in regards to Renko, um, so probably it makes um, sense then to give you here a quick summary, and then we have now the chance to display um, the. Uh, points as I like to have it here before. So a Renko chart is a type of chart which is built using price movement rather than both price and standardized time intervals as you may know it H1 so an hourly chart or five minute 50 minute chart and um, the, it, it, at first glance, I have to say, um, when I when I first um, looked at the Renko chart, but that was also true when when I first looked at a Heiken Ashin chart, for example, um, what was um, it, it was really difficult. It was it was really really um, difficult because you're used to look at a chart where time or a time interval plays a role, right? And and if this changes then and and you 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 see um, the blocks occur, respectively, the the candles being formed based on a certain price move in one or the other direction it is um yeah it's it's at first glance it's it's quite difficult so in fact i can tell you a funny story i had the indicator on my um on my chart displayed and i forgot that i had it displayed in fact so um that, that means let me just go back here so i i, I used here um this this indicator and uh I had the candles being taken out, therefore, and then I, I just wondered why um, the candle wasn't wasn't really displayed in a way it should have used to. If I used candles, um, so so candlesticks in this case, and not Renko's, um, and uh, I, I just wondered why why there was a difference between the price where the market was was trading to the um, 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 to the to the candle level, in fact, but that has to do with the fact that I was using a Renko chart, in fact. Um, while this at the beginning is probably a little irritating, nevertheless, the interesting thing is um, that here, Renko charts blocks only display price changes that meet a certain minimum magnitude, else they are ignored or not displayed. So this is exactly what I just said. And the advantage then when using this approach is becomes clear, you have um, uh, the ch or what, what, what happens is that small price moves are filtered out and the focus stays on significant moves. So that means that trends can be written for a long time before even one brick in the opposite direction forms. And I think looking at especially such even though very optimal um, but nevertheless um, very very um, um, uh, interesting examples here as the Apple chart 
perfectly illustrate this. So while others probably got a little curious whether um, um, to, to really entering um, the, the, the uptrend which formed here in Apple over, let me just see, do I have a year here? I think it's 2000 and, is it 16? I think so, yes. So it was uh, 1617 probably. Um, so uh, while traders who, who, who only used uh, candlesticks here probably got problems, let's say, from a mental perspective, um, whether the trend is still intact here, um, traders who use rankers um, just followed here um, the, the, um, uh, the um, 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 the saying that they said, well, I have to see a $2 box um, in this case here, minimum $2 box to, for a next box to appear. So it's such a ranker block. And I stay, stay within the trend as long as this um, does not change. Respectively, I entered the trade after a short pullback happened here, in fact. And that way, you were capable of moving here strongly um, up on the upside while you also had a very, very attractive downtrend which occurred here. Sure, again, this is only true once you find yourself in um, um, let's say good or interesting or uh, not good interesting but um solid is not the word i'm looking for favorable this is the word i was looking for so once you find yourself in favorable market conditions for trend trading but still once you are in a trend renko plays out all its strength in fact and uh, can keep you within the trend here thanks to the fact that it filters out um, mo most of the new noise in this case um, for quite quite a while, in fact. So that said, um, are there any questions? Let me just see here once again. Are there any questions? No, so far, so far everything, everything seems fine. Everyone seems fine. Um, yeah, if this changes, uh, please feel free to, uh, to, to ask your questions. Um, may it be below that video. You probably will uh, see this, watch this video here on YouTube, the recording. Um, if not on YouTube, feel free to join us in our trading spotlight community. So this is here. Let me just write it down. Trading spotlight community. Um, here you can see it's not only me giving us giving some thoughts on, on my trading answering questions and everything but it's also marcus he's there and you can also see paul here so please feel free to uh to ask your questions within this this um uh this um trading spotlight community in fact it's uh, free so you can register here and then join the community ask your questions um post your trading setup so we well, for example here we can we can see uh swajunas for example here um is posting some of its some of his trades some um, um of the trades from marcus you can also find here yeah we have a connection to ethics blue for example it's also something you can uh, use or you can implement and use via the uh, Supreme add-on, in fact, and um, start to analyze your trading, for example. Um, and yeah, so share your thoughts with the community, ask your questions, um, get them answered, um, give answers yourself. If you say, um, I, have a, I have an idea here on this topic, let me just see. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. So um, the question from Ernest is, please, uh, with Renko's and um, Heike and Ashi, which one is more effective to determine price, uh, a small price moves? Um, I mean, at, at the end, uh, Renko and Heike and Ashi are both, especially Renko, um, um, but both are looking to uh, or try to filter out um, noise and, and, and they try to focus on, on trends. So I'm not sure whether the, the question is... Um, is um, um, uh, the the answer to the question is, um, is is possible because we are we are in fact trying to not focus on small price moves but on on bigger price moves, and there I'd say that probably rankos are a little more effective in fact where i'd use wrinkles um but this is also it, it's it's um, um, a personal taste in fact so when i traded um that there was a time 
it was at the beginning of my trading career, career but I used Haikinashi, um, and I was in fact um, I'm trading um, um, on, a, on a very very um, small time frame here. Um, it didn't play out really well, and, and this experience with Haikinashi was something which um, makes me a little skeptical of um, Haikinashi, and that's one of the reasons why I prefer Renko's in fact um, but this is only personal taste and and mostly um, driven by my by my personal experience not sure whether this is uh, with this then if this is, is, is if this um, um, is, is is fair let's let's call it yes um, if, if I can really give a give an um, 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 uh, idea here of which one I'd favor or not so I'd favor Renko about hiking Ashi but just because of my my experience with the indicator which was not because of my, um, uh, b because of the the indicator, respectively, hiking actually being bad, but because of my lack in regards to trading experience. Um, so, uh, but today I'd, I'd probably focus on on Renko. Um, yeah, so that's it in regards to uh, the Trading Spotlight community. So feel free to ask your questions here, and um, also don't forget to join us next time. So at the same time on Monday, join will here um, give a trading spotlight webinar with a topic, the trading dream versus reality, including here what people expect when they start trading, what's the dream, in fact, what does the reality look like for most traders, and also how to find your own trading dream, in fact, when it's uh, Monday, the 9th of December at 2 p.m. London, so same as today, if you um, join the webinar here right now or listen to the webinar right here, um, you already registered. So that means you will um, uh, see, respectively find um, a link to the webinar in your inbox, in your email. If not, if you watch this on YouTube, then um, feel free to go to uh, the website from atmaramarkets.com and there to the education tab let me just show you that probably here so there's the website here's the supreme edition via platforms and if you go to education and there to the forex and cfd webinars and click on that you'll be forwarded to the section where you can register for the trading spotlight series just wait here there it appears trading spotlight you click on it you give in your uh, contact details and then you can join the webinar um, respectively you will you will get a link to the webinar um, into your inbox and then you can join the webinar and um, yeah at my markets .com. so we, we, we uh, looked several times now at this website feel free to reach out to that uh, to it if you have any questions feel free to contact at markets directly um, via email um, if you're um, um, on YouTube if you, if you like to watch videos um, subscribe to the YouTube channel from at markets um, and uh, Facebook also um, here at my markets global and we come back to the introduction regulate, uh, regulation in this case as a fully regulated broker we have to display a risk disclaimer here i wish you a nice weekend um happy trading all the time watch your stops talk to you again next week uh then in my case on friday but also feel free to join the webinars from marcus on wednesday and on paul already on monday i look forward to it talk to you see you and bye-bye